Hi everyone, it's DM Jared. And this week, I'm sad to say we do not have a new episode for you. So, with that, I apologize. We actually had a few technical issues happen in studio, and we had a small accident happen to one of our players. Everyone is doing very well, and it was not serious. It was a very small accident. But with all that, we were unable to record our normal episodes for the podcast. And I sincerely apologize to all of our fans and loyal listeners. We very much appreciate you and appreciate the fact that you've been with us for over two years at this point. So thank you. Thank you so much. Moving forward, we actually are going to be starting a new campaign. And I know that's a bit jarring as we are just kind of coming out of Agents of Edgewatch. And I wanted to take a moment to talk about that. Agents of Edgewatch is an amazingly written campaign. And if you love detective work, investigation, mystery, and intrigue, then it is a campaign for you and your group. I cannot suggest it more if you love playing the game of Clue or if you love going to escape rooms. That campaign is perfect for you. Sadly, that campaign was not perfect for our group. And the number one thing as a GM is to play a game that everyone will love playing. So with that being said, we have decided to shelf it for now. We probably will go back to it. But moving forward, we're picking up with Season 2.5, Wrath of the Righteous. We will be converting Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous from 1st Edition to 2nd Edition. This piqued everyone's interest, and we actually sat down and looked at multiple different options, uh, different adventure paths from 1st edition and 2nd edition, and we all kind of chose this one. What drew us to it is the fact that it has a lot of moving parts. It was very reminiscent of Rise of the Rune Lords, and it just piqued everyone's interest. Basically, if you've never played or heard of Wrath of the Righteous, Wrath of the Righteous is a campaign that takes us from level 1 to level 20, and we actually will be getting these super cool relics, which is a system from Pathfinder 2nd Edition, where the relics level with the player, and giving them extraordinary abilities. Wrath of the Righteous, when written for 1st Edition, actually introduced the Mythic system. Which, in that system, again, very similar, you got these epic abilities for your characters. Sadly, uh, Steve, myself, and Fabio decided not to challenge ourselves with rewriting the entire mythic system. So we chose to use something from 2nd edition, which made sense. And that's the relic system. So please bear with us and stick around as we adventure into the world wound. Fight some demons. Save some gods and become epic heroes on this season. So from all of us here, nothing ventured, nothing game. We love rolling dice, giving advice, with a little bit of that New York spice. Thank you, and goodbye.